Alrighty, welcome back to the Legend of Zelda Ocarina Time Part 16. Also, welcome back to good music. Um, the last part we had a whole lot of heart piecing. I don't even know how many heart pieces I got because I got a lot. Uh, I don't have. No, I'm not planting my precious magic beans there. Goodbye, crew world! If you just look around... I wonder what's there. Uh, shut up, Navi. I know everything about this game. Yeah, this valley is just humongous. I want to look around more. Stop it. It's just giant. That looked nice. Whee! Oh, Tektites, how are you doing? I wish I could stand on water. Ah, oh, if I was Chris Angel, I could. But I'm not Chris Angel, so... Too bad. That's who I want to be when I grow up, Chris Angel. Oh, that didn't work. Uh, that That's just weird. You dive, and then... Uh, it's weird. Not even moving, and then I just teleport. What? Alright, so if we go to King... To King Zora... Not Ging, or... Sing, or... Ping, or whatever... Um... We can see what he knows about this uh, note. Yeah, <coughs> uh, what? Ooh. Oh, this letter! It's from Princess Rudo! Hmm, let's see. She's inside Lord Jabu Jabu. That, that's not possible. Our guardian guard. Guardian guard! Oh, Ganondork. Poor Chabu Chabu has been... ...going all green around the gills. Oh, man. Of course, you'll go find Rudo. You... Oh, okay. I'll keep the sweater. You can keep the bottle. Please, find my... Uh, whatever. Are you... okay? Or... Are you all right? King Zora? I would like to ask you a question. Are you a Zora? Because it looks like you're not. It just looks a little, a, a little. Odd, I'd, I'd say, oh, I, wait, I can get my prize. What do I get? I didn't get my prize. What? I'm in water. This is BS. Mate B. Okay. That wasn't catching a fish. Give. Give. You can actually buy fish if you don't. If you don't want to go through all the pain, and suffering, and catching a fish, you can uh, buy a fish here at the uh, Zora Fish Emporium, where they sell them for 200 rupees. And I'd say that's a pretty good deal. I mean. You don't have to go through all the trouble of catching a fish, and... Gosh, are those so hard to catch? I mean... They are practically everywhere, and... Want to be caught. And don't really care if they're caught. But other than that, they're... Very hard to catch. So that's Lord Jabu Jabu, we're not gonna... Go near the... 
nice guy quite yet. Um, I can actually get another uh, sort of spell, I guess. So let's put our palms there, because we need them. And that's not what I meant to do. I guess you can catch some fish there if you want to, even though it's pretty impossible. Get a gold spell tower. Uh, using my skills again. There we go. And yeah, you are amazing. If you uh, are able to do that. Yeah, this is like the five millionth time. I better not mess up on Zelda's wall by. Good. Very, very good. Oh boy, I can hardly wait. Oh, you're... Those legs, oh, those pointies. Oh, the ball, oh, the eyeliner, oh, the pointy ear. Great fairy of magic, I will grant you a magic spell, please take it. This is just creepy. Green fire. How do you do that? Well, actually, what 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 metal are you burning? Or element or whatever. You can you will teleport to the warp point when you use the magic. You create a warp point. Or first or whatever. Blah, blah, blah. This is pretty much for um, if you're in a dungeon and. If you didn't know, uh, if you save and quit inside of a dungeon, and you're like, far in the dungeon, you'll go back to the beginning of the dungeon. So, uh, Fair's Wind is pretty much, you use Fair's Wind, and then, um, a war point is created, and it'll go to the, like, beginning of the room. So you save and quit, you enter the du you're in the dungeon actually, if you save in the dungeon, you start at the beginning of the dungeon. And then you go back to playing and then you can just uh, use uh, Fairy's Wind again, and then you'll be back where you were and you can continue having fun. Hmm. Better take out this fish here. We need to examine it farther. It seems alive, and... Hmm. Why is little Jabu Jabu opening his mouth? Why is there a vacuum? Why did that fish go in there? Why did I go in there? Ah! Oh my god. Inside little Jabu Jabu's belly. Really, this is not his belly. This is his mouth. Jeez, silly Nintendos. <sighs> ah, when will they learn? When will they learn? Ah, stupid inverse controls. I hate you. Uh, damn those inverse controls. So yeah, this is a third dungeon. Dungeon, dungeon, dungeon. I can't talk. I am unable to. This dungeon is pretty, uh... Well, I wouldn't say it's easy, but... After the first couple times you do it, it's pretty easy. Luckily, I did it yesterday, so I know what I'm doing. You, who are you? I am Rudo, Princess of the Zoras. What? Are you saying my father asked? Yes, I did. I'm never gonna ask anyone to do such a thing. Letter in a bottle. I have no idea what you're talking about. My father is... Ew, I wonder how that... What? Let me get this clear. Princess Rudo put a letter in a bottle. So how did it come out of Lord Jabu Jabu? Well, it either came out of his butt or his anus. Oh, hi there, Rudo. Are you still... Oh my! Oh my gosh! I I can't even talk. Like, 
talking in weird accents and like not even meaning to do it and it's just weird and there's two gold skulltellas just hanging out there but I can't reach them because I'm not tall enough hmm okay so now we can pick up Rudo grab jump throw these are some good commands okay run good oh there is a place for me to go oh good job Rudo you killed the guy but I kind of got electrified Okay, you stay there. I'm gonna go up. Alright. Don't get mad at me. I'm just going to be right back. Okay? Alright. Why are there vines inside of a fish? This is the Deku Tree all over again. Oh, man. That was some nice... Oh, come on, Rudo. I told you not to get mad at me. I said I was just going back up. I mean, it's not like I can't throw myself. Princess Rudo should be a weapon, because Princess Rudo is killing everything. I wonder what would happen if I used her on the last boss. Hmm, maybe I should throw her at this... Uh, that didn't work, but... Oh, uh, inverse! I can't even concentrate or do anything with the stupid inverse. Alright, I'll show you. Go, non-inverse controls. There we go. L-targeting does... Is it, it, L-targeting is great because it nullifies the inverse controls, which I hate. Okay, come on. Well, screw you, dude. Ow. Okay, the water's gone up, and I forgot to... Rudo, okay, I guess you're Zora, so that's alright. Yeah, but I'm gonna have to go back for Rudo. Darn it. It's a lot of seeds. Oh, a fairy. Okay. I got a fairy. Okay, what where can I put on here? Let's you know, bombs. Okay, where's Rudo? Gosh darn it! Rudo, why are you an idiot? I mean, you're a Zora. You wouldn't like drown or anything, or would you? I'm not all too sure about that because your father is not even a Zora, but. Whatever. Blah blah blah, how inconsiderate. I'm uh, not a Zora anymore. Maybe King Zora is like working for Gendork. Maybe that's it. Maybe that's why he's so fat. No! I didn't mean to do that! No! No! Rudo! <sighs> to go back, 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 back. This is dumb. Grab. Open. Go. Okay, I'm gonna remember this time to throw Rudo so she doesn't drown. She's obviously a Goron because she disappears when the water comes. That actually makes sense, because in Majora's Mask, when you go into, like, Great Bay, when you're a Goron, you die. And, yep, that, that's the only reason Princess Rudo is a Goron. Ah, uh, inverse controls! Hate them. Hate them so much. Okay, open. Oh boy. Okay, well. See you guys in the next part. Bye.